Hello, this is Fighting Irish. July 1936, turn 1 1.7, USA in the KMT turn. Uh, we're finishing out round one. We have some tech rules. USA has four techs. Looks like we're going for jet fighters, long range aircraft, wartime economy, and attack transports. Let's see how we do. Um, got a nine for jet fighters. Next one, long range aircraft. Missed on the long range aircraft. Wartime economy. Got 11, so we got wartime economy. Last one is attack transport. Yep, we got two out of four. Look at the chart. We're about in there. Here's the IPP, we'll come back to that one. All right, for the build. KMT has $6. They wanna buy one infantry, one cavalry, and of course, USA is upgrading a medium complex to a major complex. USA will have absolutely no movements. They can't move anything on the board, so they're not going to do anything. KMT is going to try something different. Um, I don't think I've seen this before. We're going to try some kind of a Chinese gambit here. We're going to take this infantry from Sichuan to invade Hopi. Uh, we have a river penalty, so it's going to be a one on a two. Let's see how that works out. Let me grab a board. Let's put it right here. We're going to roll for the KMT. See if they get Hopi. They rolled a six, so they missed. Here it is for the militia for Hopi. They rolled a two, so they killed the KMT, of course. The Chinese guys die. That's what he gets for invading. But the penalty for invasion is these warlord all come off the board. And they will align to the CCP at the end. So one, two, three, three dollars will go to the CCP. I will place that on there, those uh, infantry on there and the cavalry. And then change that over. And they get a, their Randall on there. So let's do that now. Uh, Peking gets a guy, a militia, who's very strong. Uh, apparently I need to get two more guys and three more, uh, three Randalls. How successful this warlord is. Not being very nice to uh, the communist or to the free Chinese. Just take him out and kill him, I guess. So here's another guy. And that's it. And then the Randall, China. CCP, China. CCP, China. And CCP China. Okay. For non combat moves, uh, we're going to take these two infantry and we're going to split them up. One goes into Nanking, and the other infantry will go down to. Hunnan. Place units. 
Uh, Calvary will go in the Shansi. Is that Shansi? I always say him wrong. But it goes with the militia, where the infantry came from. And this will go in the Shaltong, to be the lone defender there. Over here, San Francisco will be losing their medium, upgrading to the major, just like that. Now they wanted another tech roll, so next turn they're going to increase by five, or up to five. Now, that is now the end of term 1.7 and all around one, July of 1936. Let's do a recap, a review, if you like, of the Spanish Civil War. It looks like we have a very strong, very strong uh, nationalist, all the yellow units. You have a fighter in Adalusia. You have three infantry, three artillery, and a fighter in Leon Castel. And then this up here, Navier, you have a cavalry and an infantry. Over here, the uh, Republicans have four units in uh, Madrid, plus a cavalry and a bomber. Out here, they got lucky, Catalonia, get those two militia, infantry, and fighter. But they also hit their uh, recruitment rules, so I can't say luck. Everybody's built up for war. This is going to be a bloody one here coming up here. Uh, Germany uh, moved some guys around, moved towards uh, Poland, moved towards France. Not very surprising there. Bought a few units, spread themselves out, getting ready for the inevitable. Moved a sub out of the uh, Baltic Sea. The British moved their fleet, moved their fleet in the Mediterranean, move it over here to outside of Arden. Uh, they bought a minor complex, that's big highlight. Have some fleet uh, ships in the mid. Uh, the French took home their French Legionnaire, sent a transport. Somebody told me, and we'll move this back a space, that the French can go to port to port and there is a port on this location in C zone 83. So we moved it back instead of four. So if that's not the case, then um, please let me know. So we went from port to port and that's the nearest French port is in that C zone. Uh, the Italians sent this fighter over and the, uh, to help the aid out of Spain other than that, they consolidated all their ships into Sea Zone 50, I believe. Russia, or the communists, moved everybody everywhere. Everybody went on a walkabout, a walk everywhere. Over here, they did some walking on this side. Um, KMT tried to attack the Warlord and lost horrible. Uh, at line CCP, they have some more uh, Warlord there. Japan consolidated their ships, uh, battleships, cruisers, transports, subs, all in the Sea of Japan. They also have this big fleet right there out of Formosa. CCP failed on their recruitment, but apparently KMT came in for them. Uh, Anzac didn't do much. Um, they built the guy. That's all they did. Moved their ships out here. Um, USA, with their loan, uh, upgraded San Francisco. Not much action with USA. It's still early. Other than that, nothing else happened. That's the end of term 1.7 and all around one. This is Fighting Irish, out. Thank you. Um, before I go, 
I am turning it back to Panzer J in 2.1, January 1937, in Germany's turn. Thank you.